Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today I am going to explain how to merge multiple dataset in SAS. For this, first what we can do, we can create at least two table in SAS like this. For example, there is a table. Table name is me1. There is a three variables id, name, and height, and there are five to six records. And there is another table. The table name is me2, and the variable is id, name, and weight, and there are four observations in second table. So first, just execute code number one. That means first table. So you can see the first table is created now back to the coding part next to create second table now your second table is also created now two table is created the table name is me1 and me2 so next task how to join these two tables me1 and me2 there are two main steps to merging the dataset in SAS step number one both the datasets must be sorted by the variables you want to use the merging. So you can first choose the variables. Step number two, the variable you want to use for merging must have same name in both the database. That is the second condition for merging your dataset. So first we have to sort both the tables like proc, short, short is a procedure data mention the runtime data name that is first case is me1 by id because id is common in both the cases then execute run so first we can short table number one or data set one me1 with respect to id with the help of short procedure so just run so you can see this table is shorted with id like 1 3 5 7 9 now back to the coding part next is again we can short another table and the table name is table name is me2 and the column is same that is id select and then execute now your table number 2 or your dataset number 2 is also shorted and dataset number is MP2. You can see now 2, 4, 5 and 7. So your step number 1 is already achieved. Now go for the merging part. For this just write data to create new dataset. I think that is ME. We can use the keyword the keyword name is merge like m e1 in equal to x similarly in m e2 in equals to y by shorting that means common common is id after that m e one equals to s m e two equals to y that is m e two equals to y then execute so in this code m e is your new table name we can use march keyword m e in x x is a object of m e one and y is a object of m e two so now next what is the role of in operator so in option tell says to create a flag that has either the value 0 or 1 if the observation does not come from the data set that means the flag returns 0 if the observations comes from the data set that means the value of flag is 1 so we can just execute this code now we can merge with this command just select the entire code like this and go for run option 
like this. So you can see now both the data set is merged with the help of merge keyword. There is IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 9. There is a name column. There is a name variable, height variables and weight variables. Some records are blank that is dot because there is no values in case of height and there is some missing values in case of weight. So it, it's very simple procedure to merge two tables with the help of merge keyword. Now next I am going to explain there is a some kind of join in SAS like inner join, left outer join or left join, right outer join or right join and full join. So first one is I am going to explain inner join. So task is very clear. Just use create new data set like data me3 again use same keyword merge table name is me1 use in equals to x me2 in equals to y and then shorted by same column that is id after that we can use command if x and y after that we can execute with the help of run command then select the new data set name is mp3 this is a part of inner join in case of inner join we can apply if x and y because in case of inner join the data merge returns values 5 and 7 which are common in variables id of both the data sets so we can just execute select and then run so you can see just 5 and 7 is available because 5 and 7 is common in both the tables. So this one is called inner join in SAS. So next is left join or left outer join. This time the data set name is ME4 and just use if y. That means in case of left join all the content of right table and common content of left table that means just apply if y we can select this and uh, just execute so this one is a inner join so you can see this output is belongs to inner join similarly i can explain another part of join that that is one that one is called right join right join is just reverse of left join so your data set number is me5 and that is pretty much reverse that means just say x so we can select this like this and we can execute so your answer is perfect this answer is from right joins right join is pretty much reverse of left joins to the point so next is full join full join is a, another part of join that means suppose your table name is ma6 and full join means you can apply both the tables that means there is no need for any condition because it's a full join just select and run so you can see all the content of data set ME1 and ME2 are available on full join that's why this kind of join is called full join so there are four type of join in SAS inner join outer join left join and last full join thank you so much for watching please leave your questions in the comment section down below make sure to like share and subscribe to student learning Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description. We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.